Hello, I am Marga Gray and I'm an occupational therapist and I'm also the founder of Kaori Kids. I want to tell you more about Kaori Kids and how Kaori Kids works and how it can help you and your child. So I've been an occupational therapist for many years and I have a keen interest in pediatrics and in children and in children's development and in the reasons behind children's behavior and behind the fact that some children really find it difficult to concentrate and really find it difficult to learn and to thrive, whereas other kids just th thrive and they just develop normally. So I've done a lot of research. I have been very interested in this area for many years. So um, in therapy sessions, of course, we can only see so many kids per week. And I want to help more children than that. I have had many success stories in my therapy and many happy clients and many lovely little faces of children who are really excited about the progress that they're making. And I wanted to see that in more children and I wanted to help more families. So what I decided is to upgrade the whole program so that it's really easy to use and that, so that many people can use it without regular therapy sessions. So I have adapted the exercises that we actually use in therapy um, for the home environment. And then we've packaged them into fun and easy to follow videos so that you and your child know exactly how to follow the videos and how to do the exercises. And there will be no confusion at all. So you can watch these videos in your own home, in your own time, and every day it only takes 15 minutes to do these exercises at home. We also have other programs than the Kaori Child one, and I will tell you in, um, about them in a, in a while. So um, upon, upon purchase, you can get instant access to the first exercises and you can start right away. There's no time to wait for something to arrive in the post. It's all online. It's available immediately. So you'll get all the tips and hints and if necessary training to use the program that you have purchased. Okay, so what can Kaori Kids do for you and for your child? It or the children in your classroom. It can actually change their behavior because if a child struggles and if they find some activities really tricky and difficult, they play up and they use different, different ways to, some of them um, completely refuse to, co to co um, cooperate, others cooperate or try to cooperate but they're very clumsy and um, so you get all sorts of different reactions in the children. I have actually stopped talking about behavior. I talk about reactions because it's usually something in the environment or in the child's body that trigger a reaction and that looks like behavior. So it will change your child's behavior. It will improve your child's skills. Various different skills but all of them are in the foundation of development and all of them has an effect on your child's daily functioning. It will improve your child's self-regulation. So if the child has better skills to cope with, they can better self-regulate and they can, um, usually they, we see emotional maturity as well. So that is usually, um, and it comes in many different ways, parents um, report many different reactions in the children, but all of them indicates emotional maturity and improved self-regulation. And then the big thing, of course, is improved concentration and attention. And that helps a child to follow the teacher's directions and to follow your, the parents' directions, to plan ahead of time, to be ready when they have to be ready, and they can actually focus and concentrate on tasks, even tasks like dressing, even tasks like eating, even tasks like school homework and academic learning. So we have three different programs plus a consulting business. So our programs are first of all the Kaori Child program and that is the program that you use in your home with your child. That program stretches over a 26 fortnight so it's a one year period. You have access to the fortnight as you pay per month so every fortnight you get a new series of exercises in um, online and it becomes available every fortnight. 
So um, the Kaori Kindy program is one for the kindergarten age kids and that is between four and six years. So in Australia it will be the kindy here and the prep here and even here one. Um, in other countries it might be different, they call it kindergarten or they call it preschool or um, doesn't matter as long as the child is more or less between four and six years old. You can start at three and a half, you can continue until six, seven. Um, it wouldn't matter too much, but it focuses on the young child and it develops those very fundamental skills that is necessary for academic learning. Then the Kaori class program is quite an interesting one. That one is for any age group. So we recommend it for year one, year two, up to year 12. Um, I personally think um, adults will, will definitely benefit from it as well. Um, it is it is just a few exercises, four exercises in a row, um, that f definitely increases concentration, the ability to sit still, and that helps with that focused attention and listening in the classroom or at work. So um, you can, any teacher can use it. It takes about five to maximum ten minutes, and you can use it once in per day, or you can use it every two hours during the day, depending on your class and the needs of the children in your class. Then our fourth um, leg of Kaori Kids is Kaori Consult and that's not a program but it is individual support to our members and to any other person that needs um, advice for their child. Um, we have occupational therapists, speech therapists and um, psychologists available to support you. You make your first um, appointment the first one is free for 15 minutes and we just get some more information from you and we decide which professional will be the best to help you. And then we can recommend either just do things at home with your child, we can re um, recommend programs and not only Kaori Kids programs but there are many other home programs um, like listening programs and um, other exercise programs which we can recommend if necessary. So we will talk to you um, and sometimes I just say listen your child needs weekly therapy and I, I will help to find the best therapist in your area. So um, the theory um, behind our Kaori Kids programs. About the theory, first of all through the years I have gained a lot of experience and I have never ever worked completely alone. I love to collaborate with colleagues, with other people, with other professionals. I love to work in a team. Um, I did a lot of research, my personal research um, for my master's degree, but also I have read a lot of research studies and I make use of them to compile the program. Um, Secondly, the theory behind this is that we need to replace some therapy sessions because some families just can't afford regular therapy sessions. So we want to have a therapy option to use at home. Um, and then we've decided that videos are really the easiest to do at home. The parents doesn't have to read anything, nobody has to prepare anything, you just put the screen on, you just put the computer on and the child can do the exercises and follow the prompts of the actors. And I can tell you, the actors are great. They are both occupational therapists and they are so engaging with the with the children and your, your child will just love to, to um, work with them. Um, and then we follow of course the typical developmental phases of any child's development um, and we want to encourage all those different phases of development because all of, if all of them are in place then your child will be able to cope and will be able to function optimally. Then um, we have to look at the the, as I said, the foundational skills, because that is also the functional skills. And all of these activities that we do will in the end help with the functional skills. Like for instance, we do a lot of hand and finger movement exercises, but all of them are preparing the child's hand and fingers for a mature pencil grip. 
because I see many older children who don't have a mature pencil grip and they have a very clumsy pencil grip which impact on their handwriting and on the fatigue levels in their hand. So you see that at the bottom of this triangle is the sensory skills and then the sensory motor skills is on top of that. And then you get fine motor skills and you get perceptual skills and you get emotional regulation and at the top of the triangle you see the little yellow triangle which actually is the part that we see in the classroom for instance or at home. So that is your um, reading, writing, um, academic learning, those kind of skills. So we can compare this to an iceberg. The iceberg, you see at the tip of the iceberg above the water, but under the water there's a huge big mountain of ice. And if that mountain cracks and if there are little holes in that part under the water, what will happen? The tip will break and the iceberg will break. So the same with the triangle. So if you look at that dart, it goes from the Iceberg, the tip of the iceberg that's above the water to the yellow triangle, the bottom of the yellow triangle. And that is the tip that we see in the classroom. And that is the tip that we say, oh, this child cannot concentrate, or this child doesn't listen, or he plays up, he behaves like a clown. Um, those are the things that are affected, or yet yeah, the foundational skills affect that little triangle up there. And that is so important to keep in mind um, because the child really struggles and it's not that he wants to struggle and it's not that he wants to be naughty but he cannot keep up because he doesn't have the support of that solid big foundation underneath him. So the Kaori Kids program addressed this part which you see there, the yellow part, the foundational sensory motor skills. And I have seen so many times in therapy, once those skills are in place, then everything falls into place. Sometimes it takes a really long time. It, take, it can take a very long time to get core muscles really strong, to get all your movement skills really strong and well developed. But once they are well developed, your child just thrives in most aspects of life. So how did we compile this program? It is a very, very big job and it took us a very long time. So first of all, we looked at the neurodevelopment. Then we looked at all the physical developmental phases of a typical child. And that is what we aim for. We want all children to be optimally developed physically. Then we set specific goals for each section of the program. Then we made sure that we cover all the different aspects of development and then we graded all the exercises that we've chosen according to typical behaviors and typical development and appropriate targets. So not to ask a child to do too many repetitions or too few repetitions. It has to be just right so that the child will develop the skill. And then of course we video recorded you all to make it easy for you and for your child. So let's look at the expected outcome. I think you can answer most of this now by now if you listen to what I said. So first of all, you will see improved motor skills. You will see improved planning of tasks, like leaving the house. What do I do before I have to leave the house? I have to put my shoes on. I have to make my bed. I have to pack my school bag. Whatever is necessary for your child to leave the house. Those kind of planning can be very difficult for a child. And these exercises will help him with that. And of course, it will help your child with self-confidence. The more skills he gains and the more skills he have, the better his self-confidence will be. And then, it will improve your child's emotional regulation and concentration, which is a big thing. 
And then just in general functioning, just general functioning, like transitions from one activity to the other, transitioning from school to home, from home to school, from, um, from dinner to, to bath to bed, some kids really find that difficult. And even um, improved self-care. And also then, the top of that triangle and the tip of the iceberg, improved academic learning. So that is our aim with this program. We've been in this business of pediatric occupational therapy for a very long time and I can assure you that if you follow our program, your child will benefit from it. Whether your child has got big problems or little problems, they will definitely improve and they will benefit.